to see um, what the final thing is going to be. Okay. And just to not hold anybody back, I just want to make sure people are having enough time to type stuff in. And you need to, you need to force yourself to type stuff in today because I will not help you on the test with this anymore because I feel like not enough people are asking while we're practicing. All right? So get your practice with the calculator. If you don't have a calculator on your desk, that's not a good decision. But once you get done with letter B, the one that you can skip down to will be letter F. All right, because you just need the answer from letter B for letter F, okay? So that's going to be the order that we're going to do these in, and then we'll come back to the top step, all right? So you can look ahead to letter F. It's a review from yesterday's.
going to be able to make. Once that got used up, that was where it stopped, this is what you had. So your final answer for letter B should be 13.04. Now, letter F is asking us to, um, sorry, letter F says, if I have 11.3 grams of sodium chloride is formed, sorry, I said that wording wrong. But if 11.3 grams of sodium chloride is formed in the reaction, so that's like a statement. That is telling you the fact. That is what happened. What is the percent yield? So we know from yesterday that percent yield was an actual yield over a theoretical yield times 100, right? 
So, theoretical yields, some of you guys wrote this little note down. Some of y'all didn't, though. comes from a calculation. We did say that. Actual yield is going to come from an experiment. Okay? So, knowing that, we have 11.3 given to us in the problem, right? It said this much was formed. That is a statement of fact. That is what actually happened. That is your actual yield. What is our theoretical yield? What did we calculate to have happen? Exactly, 13.04. So now it's just a matter of 11.3 divided by 13.04 and then multiply that by 100. You should be getting 86.5. There you go. All right, 0.66%. Okay? So I'm going to be asking you to do a similar little setup tonight um, or in a, in a few few minutes. No, you guys, can, we're just going to dive right over to it. All right, <clears throat> so you guys didn't do the complicated thing, just so you know. So I will show you that tomorrow. That is dealing with letter um, E. Oh, we could have answered letter C, too. Sorry. Huh. There we go. What's the answer to letter C? Copper to chloride. Good. Letter D, I'm kind of going to eliminate it because we found in first period it was it really was just an extra stoichiometry problem, and so don't stress out over that. This is what I would like to show you guys tomorrow, is figuring out how much excess reagent was left over. The way that you would do this, so if you wanted to work ahead to it, is you would handle your grams of copper 2 chloride. You would solve for how much sodium nitrate was used. So you want to know grams of sodium nitrate. Not that it formed it. This will tell you how much got used, and then we would do the subtraction. So that's coming tomorrow, okay? So we'll save that for tomorrow. What I assigned to first period tonight is looking at the other side of the page. So number two right here, okay? You have your balanced equation, which isn't balanced yet, so I will give you that right now. It's a one, two, one, two again. You're going to do letter B and letter F again. So exactly what we just did today. Come in with B and F done, and that will be your, your check for tomorrow, okay? But you do have five more minutes. You could get it done. It didn't take a lot of you guys more than five minutes, so get it done. All right. And maybe what I'll do is count letter E, that method. Um, as a bonus question on Thursday. So if you want to work ahead to it or get some help with it, you can come out. You're good. Hold on to it. I kind of excused you guys. You weren't here yesterday. Thank you, though, because that, that'll help you with the stuff. <clears throat>